What's going on YouTube? Uh, Nikki Two Shoes back. Um, I hadn't made a video because I really don't do this. Uh, I just did it out of, uh, I don't know, just to help people. Um, try to do the right thing for guys who are looking to get into the hobby, uh, sport, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they're looking to do it at a budget. Um, but uh, I had some questions about the Chab that I bought. So the Chab, I actually sold it to a friend. Uh, he just got it for what I paid for it. I, I used it. I played with it enough for a review, and then I just I gave it to him. He was looking for a good knife. Um, he has it functioning perfect. No problems. Um, I'm sure he's abusing it, and, you know, none of the hardware, nothing's coming off. Uh, everything's fine. You know, you're going to get, um, when you get these, you know, whatever, 440C, whatever it is, um, you know, they're going to dull quick, sharp and fast, dull quick. Uh, it is kind of what it is. Um, but I used that money and bought um, the 141, I think is what this is. It has like the Kukri blade or whatever they want to call that. Um, they said it had special hardware or it was supposed to be new or limited edition, whatever. Um, I bought this knife, I want to say in right after that video. So I probably got it in Octo end of October, November, sometime in that point. Um, I paid for the over, like the expedited shipping and everything, and uh, I had it for a day. And uh, this is the tang pin. You can see it. It's uh, it's essentially broke. Um, the, the press they press fit this, and it, it came off. It's gone. I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Um, and it was like within a day. So I messaged them and I said, "Hey, um, you know, it broke. Um, it was." defective or it wasn't done right from the factory blah 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 i only had it a day um you know could you send me the replacement part so i could fix it or you know let me know what i need to do to get it adjusted i never got an answer so i waited two or three weeks emailed a few people didn't get nothing so i went onto the website and i left a review for this particular knife on eurobellasong.com um i said it was kind of sad that they didn't give you any extra hardware which they didn't like they do on all the other knives that you buy and that this was broken like one day. I uh, gave it like one star or whatever. You can look at the review. It was more accurate to the time when I did it. So I didn't put a review up on this knife because I was kind of waiting. And then come December 5th, I got an email from them, which made me delay the review even longer. They said, hey, you know, we're sorry. They must have saw my review and said, hey, we're going to fix it. Uh, we're going to send you a new knife. I said, perfect. They sent me tracking. As of right now, it's still sitting at the factory in Hong Kong or wherever they're sending it. So they didn't do anything yet. Uh, I, I mean, it is what it is. Um, it's my mistake because I always talk about, um, I think in my other videos when I talked about it, Zen pins. Um, you know, you see this a lot with people doing it overseas um, or cloning that they can't get the, the tank pins just don't hold up. Um, so... It was my own fault. I wanted to give it a try. I hadn't personally experienced it. Well, here's the experience. Um, other than that, man, the knife gets real loose. Uh, I can't show you with my camera because I just use my phone. But uh, you can see, I can see, where like this knife gets caught. It rubs, but if it gets too loose, it just gets straight caught. So it just it chunk, chunks this blade. Um, and it, it starts to like leave marks on the linings, which I mean, it is what it is. I always wanted a 42. I didn't want to spend five or $600 on one. Um, I can't compare it to a 42. The sad reality of it is, is this knife is very light. It sounds like chain mail. Um, this is probably as tight as I got it. Um, it has like a normal amount of play for what I see for bench made. It is not a bench made. Um, and I, I beat it up. I still take it and use it. Um, you know, I don't really care. I live in a state where these are legal to carry. I do work in some states where these are not. And in those states, I'll take these because I work construction in the middle of nowhere and I'll still play with my knife. Um, if they take it off me, I really don't care. Um, but I wouldn't buy this. Um, if you're going to pick up one of their knives, I would still stick with what I had originally said. Um, stick with a Zen pin design. The Chab um, has held up great. My buddy loves it. Um, I didn't keep it because I planned on buying one from BRS when they dropped. 
And unfortunately I missed the drop, but that's due to, you know, I pave, I'm laid off in this winter. Um, so I'm just not working and I can't allocate funds toward a knife at the current state. So here we are. I do have a few that I could get rid of, but I tried to sell them on the sales group and people are kind of sketchy, um, with newer guys. Cause I haven't really, I've been in the group for a long time, but I haven't sold a bunch of stuff. So, I mean, it is what it is. I took the posts down. I had like a, uh, the home Chimera, which I like. It's just not for me. I don't use it enough. And I have a Benchmade um, Fly Tie 51 um, that I thought about getting rid of, but I end up liking that knife. And uh, But yeah, I just kind of wanted to give a quick heads up. I mean, the knife's cool. You know, it, it flips fine. Um, I can do all my tricks with it. The, it came with a spring latch, which would, dude, they're not, I mean, they're not great. Uh, I just take them out and put some tape on for bite handle. Um, it, it sounds like a tank. I just wouldn't buy this knife. If you had the option and you were going to spend the money, spend a little bit more because I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the prices to be fair. If this was the same price as the Chab, but uh, do yourself a favor, just buy a Chab. Uh, if you're going to buy something from over there, it's probably one of the knives that I would recommend from them. Uh, utmost, I would also do, you know, any Zen pin. I don't like a 51. I would just tell people like, my 51 is great. It's fly tie. It flips fine. It's short, shorter than this. Uh, and this is technically short by new knife standards. I would stick with, um, you know, whatever they call their AB or their chab. Stick with the chab, not the AB, because the AB, their AB, fake AB, whatever is, is a tang pin. So don't do that. Um, I would stick with that or their, uh, their rep clone. Because I've had one. I still, I still have it. Actually, another buddy of mine had it. I let him borrow it to learn to get into the sport. So I've had that one forever as well. And it's still three, four years down the road or two years, whatever it is, it's years now. It's still flipping. Uh, all the extra hardware is still in my drawer. I've never had a, anything break. It's been awesome and I, I beat it to death. So um, just stay away from these tang pins or yeah, these tang pin designs that they're making. Like they're, it's smushing. Handles are already almost touching. Um, the cups are caving in. They're getting caught. You know, I mean, their tolerances are way bad on these. Um, it's rubbing good, which is fine. I don't mind blade rub because I like loose knives. But my Alpha Beast has never like caught the side and like stuck into it. And this, if it's loose enough, it just catches and, and you can see it just holds on. You can see it's just it holds on and just chunks. The knife will get stuck like that. Uh, it's bad. Don't buy this knife. Uh, stay away from it. Bye, chap. Uh, sorry for not posting a whole lot. Like I said, I don't do this. This was just, you know, my opinions. Subject to change. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.